In its opinion, this state appellate panel concluded that there is uncontroverted evidence that Giuliani communicated demonstrably false and misleading statements to courts, to lawmakers, and to the public at large in his capacity as a lawyer for former President Trump and the Trump campaign in connection with Trump's failed effort at re-election in 2020. They concluded that what he did is a threat to the public interest, which is why he has now been suspended from the practice of law. Now, Dana, it is not easy to have your license suspended this way. It isn't easy to have your license suspended this way. Why did it happen today? There's always, I always question the timing when the deep state tapes, uh, takes action. Could it possibly be because of this? But we're actually expected to see Mr. Giuliani in just a few hours. He is due to appear in federal court here in Washington, D.C. to defend against a defamation suit brought by Dominion Voting Systems. There you have it, folks. Seriously, the day that he is going to defend himself uh, against what he said about a certain company involved in the tabulation of last November, right before that, he loses his law license, supposedly, for lying about that same issue. Is that just serendipitous? Is that just a dink? Is that just fortuitous for the voting machine company? Or is it possible that this is all coordinated? Oh, let's also not forget the fact that his son, who I'm about to play you what he put on social media defending his dad, is also running against... Uh, Andrew Cuomo and is running to be the new governor of New York. Hi, my fellow Americans. Today it's my fellow Americans, not just my fellow New Yorkers. As you may have heard recently, uh, a few, few minutes ago, my father's law license was suspended by the New York State First Appellate Division of the Supreme Court. Now, the five judges that ruled on it, Judge Rolando Acosta, Judge Diane Renwick, Judge Sally Manzart Davis, Daniels, sorry, Judge Judith Gishi, and Judge Barbara Kaepernick. All five of them are Democrats, three of which were appointed by Andrew Cuomo. Five to nothing, ultimately. Democrats with zero Republicans on there. Again, this is just unbelievable to see just how politicized all of this has become. I am infuriated by all of this, and any American that believes in an independent justice system, this is going after one of President Trump's closest allies. That's exactly what this is. And any American that doesn't believe that, they are just biased. This is, uh, this is unacceptable, and I stand by my father. He did everything, ultimately, by the book. And the fact that there would be this politicization in our Justice Department is disgusting. It is a cancer that needs to be cut out, and it needs to be cut out right now. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned. I'll have more statements later in the day. As I alluded to and told you at the beginning of this episode, we also have a statement. We have reaction from President Trump on this, and this is coming uh, as official statement. I'm showing you this one courtesy of Jenna Ellis, the former uh, special counsel and senior legal advisor to President Trump. Uh, he says, dated today, Save America, President Donald J. Trump, June 24th, 2021, statement by Donald J. Trump, 45th President of the United States of America. Can you believe that New York wants to strip Rudy Giuliani, a great American patriot, of his law license because he has been fighting what has already been proven? The greatest mayor in the history of New York City, the Elliot Ness of his generation, one of the greatest crime fighters our country has ever known, and this is what the radical left does to him. All of New York is out of control. Crime is at an all-time high. It's nothing but a witch hunt, and they should be ashamed of themselves. Take back America. Now, those following along will realize that I skipped a certain phrase. That's because of the platform we're on. If you want my unadulterated reporting and analysis of this topic, you're going to have to follow me over at bcpextras.com. So that's what we have there. And then now we have this uh, breaking news for today. And that is that the former vice president, Joe Biden, has come out and said that they have a deal when it comes to an infrastructure deal. He came out of the White House uh, in tow with some very obvious rhinos um, tagging along there with him. And of course, uh, with a photo op. Those present, uh, as you will see here, are Mitt Romney, Lisa Murkowski, Senator Collins, 
and you have, of course, uh, 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 West Virginia uh, Democrat yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Manchin, who a, a, a lot of times like to parade him out because he's seen as a bipartisan guy because he often and, uh, uh, bucks the trend when it comes really to his party. This is what was announced that. today. Colby Robbins, come on. Everybody come on up. We had a uh, really good meeting and to answer your direct question, we have a deal. You can also see there uh, uh, Kirsten Cinema of Arizona, but I also wanted to just before we go forward, so you can see all those involved um, were also Bill Cassidy, Rob Portman, uh, he is the Republican out of Ohio, and uh, Jean, uh, Jean, was it Jean or Jean Shaheen uh, from New Hampshire, and John Tester from Montana, and Mark Warner from Virginia. Uh, these are all the people that are part of this photo op. And uh, I think it's really important. We've all agreed that uh, none of us got what we all that we wanted. I clearly didn't get all I wanted. They gave more than I think maybe they were inclined to give in the first place. But this reminds me of the days we used to get an awful lot done up in the United States Congress. We actually worked with them. We had bipartisan deals. Bipartisan deals means compromise. One of the things that I've, I've made clear, I've signed on, and I'm going to let them give you the detail because and you can ask them, and I'm, I will, I will talk to you all later, next hour or two. But I promise you, I'm not going away. Um, but uh, one of the things that uh, we agreed on infrastructure, we made serious compromises on both ends. Uh, there is, uh, and they'll they'll give you the numbers. But we did not, they did not, and I understand their position. Republicans and this group did not want to go along with. Any of my family plan issues, the child care tax credits, the human infrastructure that I talk about. All right. I often criticize and I'm always critical of the former vice president, Joe Biden. There's a specific reason why I refer to him as the former vice president, Joe Biden, and only call him P-R-E-S-I-D-E-N-T Biden when I'm reading a direct quote. This is actually smart, whoever told him to say this that to make it sound like this was bipartisan, that there were some concessions on both sides to make it more palatable. And then even giving uh, the uh, this group here the ability to give the details, which I will give you in just a moment, uh, the, 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 the highlights you need to know. Well, I guess the highlights you need to know, 953, 953 billion, I believe, um, and no new taxes supposedly on people making less than 400,000. It's kind of the bullet points. but. Uh, Biden is correct in that the Republicans weren't going to go for human infrastructure because that's a made-up term. It doesn't mean anything. Infrastructure is infrastructure. Everything else are social programs. And uh, that we'll see what happens in a reconciliation bill in the budget process. If that, uh, if we get some compromise there, and if we can't, see if I can attract all the Democrats to a position that is there. But we're going to—they're going to move in a dual track, and. Uh, and that's all I want to say. But I, I want to thank each and every one of them. It's been, you know, a lot of us go back a long way where we're used to doing one thing. That's a true statement. They go a long way back, old boy and old girls network, old boy, all girl club, and they're used to doing his things a certain way. And of course, our duly beloved president, Donald John Trump, threw a monkey wrench and all that because he called the swamp uh, out for what it is, and it wasn't business as usual while he was there. You can see Senator Collins all smiles. She loves the old days of the establishment swamp doing whatever they want. And you hear uh, the former Vice President Joe Biden being very clear. If they can't get their way on, in, on human infrastructure, or in other words, all these social programs, then uh, they're not going to even work with the Republicans. They'll try to pass it uh, through the budget, uh, through reconciliation and other ways. In other words, he talks about bipartisanship in one moment, and the next minute he's letting us know, hey, I don't care if I don't have bipartisan support from the Republicans on the other things I want to do. We'll just rally the Democrats and do it unilaterally by one party, not by partisan Folks, I'm telling you, these are the consequences when we let crooks get away with crimes. Give each other our word, and that's the end. Nobody questions it. They have my word. I'll stick with what they propose, and they've given me their word as well. So where I come from, that's good enough for me. So I'm going to turn it over to 
the two chairs here, and uh, I'll talk to you all a little bit later. Have you heard about the building collapse in Miami? I have. I've spoken with the mayor. I've spoken with the congresswoman, and I'll have more to say about that as well. As you can see, Joe Biden was asked about the building collapse in South Florida. If you're not familiar with that, I'll cover that here in just a moment. Uh, just remember that because we're going to come back to it. He said he'll cover it later. Just want to show you how he exits this um, and gives the uh, stage to everyone else. And you'll notice that uh, in true Joe Biden fashion, he can't keep his hands to himself. Mr. President, what does it mean Wait, that you were able to reach this deal? Are you committed to the two-track system, Mr. President? Are you committed to a two-track system? system? Yeah, yeah, sure. Over. sure. That is, there is going to be a two-track system. And are you confident that you're going to have all of the Democrats support in the Senate? Let okay? Yeah. I'm not confident of anything except I trust their word. But there will be a reconciliation <laughs> bill? There will be a reconciliation bill, Mr. Now, I always feel a little strange, honestly, when I point out that the former vice president is, is handsy, grabby, and touchy. Because for those that know me personally, maybe it's my culture, being half Latino, my wife is Latina. We're just, we're huggy, kissy, shake your hand, touch you on the shoulder. We're just, we're like that. But the huge difference is we're not pervy like Joey is. And when he does it, it just seems creepy, probably because it's...